Chelsea manager for 18 days. What have the last 18 days been like for you? Well, I think enjoying a lot, uh, working really hard <laughs> with the players. Uh, yes, really exciting uh, 18 days. There's been so much change at the club in the last year, obviously, before you came in. How do you go about developing a new culture, a new identity at Chelsea? No, I am not affected for the past uh, because I wasn't here. I started the 1st of July. And of course, for us, it's about to, with the people that we met and, and, and the players, uh, to the, um, create the good atmosphere and really work, uh, working hard to try to, to reach the level that we want. Um, and then it's all together to create the, the, the philosophy that we believe that is possible to, to, to create all together and, and to try to bring again. Uh, to this football club, uh, what the people expect, no? Chelsea Football Club is about to win, it's about to lift trophies. Is that we, what we want to feature? Have you chosen a captain yet? No, not yet. I think uh, we need to evaluate, we need to see the players, uh, we need to have contact, more contact, uh, to see the evolution of the next few weeks. And then, for sure, we, we will decide the best for the, for, the, for the squad, for the team. Will that be a choice that you make, or will you let the players vote? How will you do it? Well, that is a thing that really we, we are not focused at the moment. Uh, we will see when arrive the moment in the way that we, we will decide the, the captain. You, you said at your unveiling... Um, that you think you're a better manager now after managing abroad. Oh, yes. <laughs> in what way? How, how do you think you've improved? Because it's experience, because in the way that we... Uh, also, we are learning things. Uh, yes, I think we have more, more capacity, more intuition, more capacity to read situations. I think with experience, uh, we, I think we are improving, like our coaching staff. So do you think, is that man management, is it tactical? Also man management, yes, yes. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's in everything, in mm. all the aspects. Mm. Also in tactic, uh, yes. But that is not the most important thing today in football, because the knowledge about tactic you can find from, you know, internet, or you have access. Today you can, you know, you can learn. Mm. But the thing is more about uh, all the areas, I think, that are important too. Mm. You also said that you feel you need to build a relationship with the fans. Do, do, do you feel you've got to win some of them over because of your past with Tottenham? I don't think in, on, on the past. I think I, I am looking forward, you know, to see the the, the future. Mm. Uh, fans need to trust in, in us, and what I want is is to build this confidence and to this trust and working hard and, and, of course, playing well and winning games. Because if not, it's impossible to build a good relationship if you don't no play well and no win on the end. Mm. You, your pre-season starts here. Obviously, you're playing Wrexham in the first game. How, how much do you, do you know about them? Have you seen the documentary? No, I didn't see, but I hear <laughs> about the, uh, the history. But they say, I think it's exciting for the people here, for the fans in America... In USA, they are very excited about uh, all that happened in, in, in UK with Wrexham. And of course, uh, we are excited also to play here and our first game. Uh, I think it's going to be a nice, uh, nice game and a good time to enjoy with, with the fans. They have celebrity owners. Are you a Ryan Reynolds fan? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know uh, his career and everything. But I am glad that he loves uh, football and 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 is uh, is mass is a, I think is a is a massive thing that be involved no in a in a club in U, in UK and and of course uh, happy I am glad for him that he's enjoying. I mean on a serious note, obviously he, they're American owners. You're working for American owners. There's there's more kind of American influence in in. British football now. What do you sort of make of that? Do you think how beneficial can that be that there's more American influence going into the Premier League and, and obviously? Well, I think it's, a, it's about to have a mix, no? Um, because uh, cultural UK, England uh, with football is, is really strong. Um, America is different about the you know the sports, 
And it's in to share the cultures, I think it's important to, to get the best benefit. Uh, it's important to mix and be clever in the way that we are going to mix, you know, people from US, U, USA and, and the culture that is a football, you know, the, the, the football in, in England where we're born, you know, the, the, the sport. And yeah, but I think uh, all is about experience and learn. And I think it's, it's important people like us, that like we have the knowledge of this type of the football in England to, to help, you know, the, 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 the people that came from, from America and to guide them to uh, don't uh, make the mistakes, no? And, and of course, uh, to help him to try to, to add all the good things that for sure that they have here in, in USA. In terms of pre-season, I mean, how clear are you in your mind at the moment about what your starting 11 might be for Liverpool? Can you think that far ahead? No, we are working really hard because we need to prepare all the players to be ready for, for to compete in, in the first game of the Premier League, and then we see what happened. Uh, it's too many, you know, things that is are going on, but not only with us, you know, for different clubs like Liverpool also. Um, yeah, but what we are uh, doing now is to to give them our best to try to build the, the best uh, and to uh, take the best from our players. And all the players that are involved in the squad need to think that they can be involved in the first game mm -hmm. uh, against Liverpool in the Premier League. How much more work do you think you have to do in the transfer market? Are you happy with the squad as it, as it stands? Yeah, but look what happened with, with Fofana. Maybe, maybe yes or maybe no. We, maybe we need to work in, 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 a, in to replace him in an area that maybe we were not thinking. Uh, that is maybe, you know... Uh, make us maybe to, to change the, the, the direction. But uh, like football, football is, uh, is the present, is to be flexible um, with the mentality that you can change. If things happen like this, uh, you need to be, you know, focused and concentrate. Uh, but yes, I think we are working, trying to, to improve until to the end, we are going to be there, uh, see what, what happened in the, in the market. How much of a blow is it to lose? No, it's, it's really tough because, you know, uh, it's a player that uh, should be uh, really important in our, in our project and, and, of course, now we feel all really sad and really, really uh, in a bad mood because uh, it's not only for him, it's not for, for, the, for the, whole, the, the, the team. And the club. I, I won't ask you about specific targets because I know you don't like to talk yes. about them. But on the Chelsea squad list, there are six midfielders listed to come out here. Is, is it fair to say that central midfield is an area you're looking at, that you need to bring someone in? Yes, I think we need. We need. We need there. For sure. But it's, I think it's clear that mm. everyone knows that we need to maybe to add some players there. Well, one player who's not here is, is Romelu Lukaku. Um, you, you said at the unveiling you'd speak to him. What's been said? Is he a part of your plans? Well, it's obvious that uh, what is going on with with him. I seen uh, in between the club and the and the players sh uh, share the same similar ideas, and we are work working in that to try to fix and and to have uh, uh, the best uh, uh, solution for both parts. So your expectation is that he will leave? Well, I think it's obvious. I think yeah. we can repeat this. You know? Um, the final couple, uh, do you think the Premier League is, is tougher than it's ever been now? Always was tough. I remember in, in 2000, when I arrived to Southampton, always, every season, tougher and tougher and tougher. I think always is tough. I think next season is going to be tough also. I think it's the best competition in the world. And of course, uh, it's really exciting to be here again. Have the owners set you specific targets? Do you have to finish in the top four? Do you have to try and win a trophy? Is there a specific goal that you have to reach this season? No, I think it's for, it's for us, you know, to put um, the pressure, but uh, they don't say nothing about that because I think when you are in Chelsea, it's about to win. It's about to be, you know, it's to win, win trophies. Uh, it's not about to put target from the owners or from the people or from the fans or from the media. I think when we signed uh, on Chelsea, we knew that everyone is going to expect to win. 
uh, even if the season wasn't in the way that the, everyone expected, but for us it's, it's, it's not important last season, now it's about to, to move on and thinking that uh, we need to, you know, to thinking we can win and we are going to try to win, why not? And just lastly, I just wanted to ask you about Deli Ali because he's given a very brave and moving interview. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, I saw you posted on social media about it. I just wondered what your reaction was to what he said, the abuse he suffered, the character that he's shown to speak about it. Oh, of course, this was really tough for me to see him. Uh, I didn't finish the interview because it was so painful. Um, he knows how, how we love him, um, how important is for us, like a person, not like a player, because a player was amazing, but like a person that he was, he, have, he has a big, big heart. And, and of course, uh, we were in, in contact, and, and for sure, after the USA tour, I hope to, to see him in London and to meet uh, him and give a big hug. Uh, always is tough when you, you love and you, you love a person that uh, show uh, in, a, in an interview like this, always is really, really, really painful. But he's a strong, he's an unbelievable guy and for sure he, he will become stronger.